This is the automation zone and today we are going to begin a new series on object oriented programming using Python. Now hold on guys, before we go ahead and learn how to create a class, objects, their methods etc. Let us first try to understand an important question which is, do I really require a class to code in the first place? To understand this, let us go ahead and look at a sample program which is implemented without a class and with a class. So let me quickly open PyCharm. And this is my sample program right here. So this is a program to manage students in a school. So to do this, I had to think how to store my students. I thought of using a dictionary right here. The key is a student's name. The value is basically a list of their age, grade and the list of subjects. Let me remove this parent right here. Okay. I've also implemented a few functions here. One is to add a student. The other is to remove a student. Uh, the next one is to add students details, print their details and finally giving an exam. What I've done below is implement these particular functions. So I'm adding a student called Tom, the same thing for a second student called Jill. I'm adding their details, okay, such that they're 10 years old in the fifth standard, etc. I'm printing their details and finally I'll go ahead and call out the function called exam and I'll give Tom right here. Let me print this. As you can see here, it printed out Tom's details, Jill's details, and finally exam Tom. So it says Tom is giving an exam. So this is going to answer our very first question, which is, yes, it is possible for you to create a program without using a class. But there are a few drawbacks. Let us look at those drawbacks one by one. So drawback number one. You have to think of each and every detail, each and every logic yourself. Here I had to think what is going to be uh, the database where I'm going to store my students. I thought of using a dictionary. It can be also a proper database. It can be a list, etc, etc. Your choice. I also had to think of how to implement the add students, uh, add student details, remove students, etc. So creating the logic will depend on you. And for those who are using Python for a long time or into programming, will see many flaws in my logic. Yes, that is the particular drawback. Every logic can be made better and even my logic can be made better. So if you are using something without classes, you, make to sh you need to make sure that your logic is rock solid. That's your first drawback. Now coming to your second drawback. Now if you look over here, the student has been given um, one, two, three. Three parameters right here. Now what if I had to add a third parameter called as parent. Now in this case because I'm changing something, changing parameters, I also had to think the impact of this in my functions. Now here I've got only four functions and it's easier to, for me to make changes. What if I had many more? I had to be very thorough that the changes which are taking place in one function will or should not impact the other functions. So changing stuff is pretty difficult, is quite complicated. Let's look at a third drawback. Now if you look over here, I have written exam Tom, right? Now what if I would do something like exam and I would give a teacher here. If I print, if I run this, it says teacher is giving an exam. Now this is exactly not correct, this is incorrect. Now, in order for me to solve this issue, I need to put special checks within exam such that it does not accept a teacher. But the fact that it allows us to call the exam, okay, the exam function by putting the parameter called teacher is a flaw in itself. And you have to take care of this by yourself. So you have to remember every function and every parameter that goes along with it. Okay, that's a drawback. We are not used to this. Now, if you look at this, if I have a string here called az, which is automation zone, and if I do a dot, I get to see all the functions which is associated with a string. Right? For example, I have over here call as upper. Makes sense. In some other programming languages, you would have something like this. You would call the function call upper, and within the function, you would type the string. Now, this is a bit complicated. Why is that? When you're using methods like this, you do not need to remember uh, that upper has to go with string because the moment you have a string, 
you get all the methods automatically which is associated with the string. In this case, you have to remember that upper only accepts a string. If I do upper and I put a number called 1, it will throw me an error. Okay, so in this same situation, would it not be easier if I could have done something like this? Say, Tom is a student. Okay, and then I would have done like a Tom dot age is equal to 10. And because Tom is a student, I could have done Tom dot exam. Because Tom is a student, Tom can give an exam. In the same way, if I would have done teacher, 1 is equal to teacher, okay, then in that case, the teacher would not be able to access the particular function for exam. Why is that? Because teacher cannot give an exam. So this would make things much more easier. You would have less errors and it would be less complicated. These are few drawbacks of your uh, using your code without using a class. There are many more drawbacks and all of these drawbacks are made less when you use a class. Let us see the exact same program by using a class. So this is the exact same program by using a class. Now remember, do not remember here how to use a class, how to create a class. We will learn how to create a class from scratch in our next sessions. We learn everything. This is just for you, for those guys who are confused as to why a class is used. They have a very important question here. Why do we even need to learn OOPS? Why is OOPS required? To answer these questions, we are going to look at this particular example. Now here I have a class of students. It has a few parameters here. Leave about the implementation, etc. It has got two methods over here. Print their details and give an exam. Finally, because of this particular class here, I can go ahead and create three students here. Tom, Jill, Jack. Because the student is equal to student. And give the details here. Now, because Tom is a student, I could easily do Tom. Okay, okay let me do Jack over here. So, Jack dot, I get the functions within it. For example, print student details, which is here, comes right here automatically. If I give, give exams, give exams comes automatically. Right? Let me run this. You see, the program executes exactly as we had done without using a class. But in this case, it becomes much more easier and less susceptible to errors. One more example is this. Um, say for example that Jack okay, needed a new parameter, for example, dad. And I could have just typed in jack.dad is equal to Freddy. And I could just go ahead and print jack.dad. So there are a few advantages that classes have. Okay. And this is a few of them. We'll be looking each and every one of these advantages in detail. We'll be looking at how to create a class, why a class is required, what are objects, etc. in detail. Regarding the other two things, which is uh, a room of a student. Okay, for those who don't know, since this is a particular object, if I don't use this object, it's discarded. Or I can manually just say Tom is equal to none, it will get destroyed. But anyways, um, these are the reasons why we use a class. So to answer your question, yes, we can implement any program without using a class and the same program can be implemented by using a class. With using a class, it becomes easier, it becomes uh, less complicated and modifications becomes much more simpler. Without using a class, you have to think of all the logic yourself. You have to be a super programmer to do that. And I guess in the earlier times before Java coming into the picture, before OOPS coming into the picture, we used to do very complicated programming by using C language. Okay, if you have any questions on this tutorial, do comment below. If you like this, if you would like to see more of the series, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.